Hey guys, so today we're back to filming on the DSLR camera. So I hope that this is good quality. I am aware that you guys might be upside down. I don't know if I'm going to switch on editing or if it's just so the viewfinder is not sure. But I went antiquing this weekend, this past weekend on Saturday. This was in Chapin, South Carolina, my first time ever going there. And I got this book and I thought it would be a fun time to look at it in a video. So this is the Silver Jubilee Year, a complete I know I'm doing it lowercase. I don't want to be doing that. But pictorial record. This is by Sir Serge Serge. I'm not sure. Lemoyne. Put his name in lowercase when the title is all in caps. So what is the? Ooh, this is the. Um, actual cover 1977 the queen's silver jubilee so silver is 25 years um so this was celebrating her being on the throne for um how long and this book was actually came from the uk um it has the price in the pound up there 6.95 and there was a special offer for it to be 4.99 until um January 31st, 1978. Oh, look. Two Frank B. something from John Gregg. Same name. Is it literally McMaster? That's the governor's last name, but January 1982. So, this is the Jubilee year. Again. So this was first published in 1977 by Color Library International, which is based in Surrey, England. But it was printed in Italy. So there we have the Queen right there. So we have a lot of content. So if you've watched The Crown, you're going to be familiar with some of this. So we have Tonga, Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, and Papua New Guinea, Ghana, and the Ivory Coast, Easter Sunday, Badminton Horse Trials, the Queen and World Leaders, the Royal Windsor Horse Show, Scotland, at the Opera, at the Circus, the Derby Epsom, Windsor Bonfire, Jubilee Day, Thanksgiving Service, I'm actually going to get this out, at St. Paul's Cathedral, the Jubilee Luncheon at the Guildhall, Fireworks Over London, Trooping the Color, the Royal British Legion, the Garter Ceremony, the Royal Progress in England and the Royal Progress in Wales, the Fleet Review, the Royal Air Force Review, Prince Charles in Canada, and the Royal Progress Northern Ireland. So this is the Queen visiting Tonga. We see Prince Philip was there as well. This was on the 14th of February, so she was visiting the King of Tonga, which I assume this is him with the glasses. They have some barbecue there. Yeah, there she is again meeting um, Prince Philip right in the crease there. But they're meeting the Tongan royals. So here we have Fiji. Um, again, February 1977. The Queen and Prince Philip. I think this dress is really 80s, um, but we are in 77, so we're getting close to the 80s. I just feel like that print is really 80s. And this is all on the, the Royal Yacht Britannia. So I was like, it looks kind of nautical with those colors. And then it's kind of like flags almost. I don't know what the Fiji flag looks like, so it could be reminiscent of that. But um, 
her. She is she delivering a speech. And then this is a ritual ceremony of drinking a bowl of nagona, which is made of crushed roots of the pepper tree. So both of them. Yeah. So I do know um, there's that island where the people love Prince Philip and I'm wondering if that's going to be in here, but I do not know. <laughs> so New Zealand, um, I've had family go to New Zealand. Um, yeah, I actually know um, a few people who have been to New Zealand and then I've met personally a few people from New Zealand. So um, nice place. So this is the Queen Declares Open the Royal New Zealand Polynesian Festival at Gisborne on Saturday the 26th of February 1977. So while I was from New Zealand, they were these, um, a traditional Morawi, Morawi? I, I used to know how to say it, um, cape. I'm not sure what that's made out of, which is what I am. I only think it when I see it, I'm like, I wonder what that's made out of, but I'm not seeing So if you know, let me know. There she is, the only except flowers from the children. It's an interesting headpiece. So some blue, some pink. Okay, this was in February, so this was summertime in New Zealand. So varied weather, as we can see there was some rain. And then this looks nice and sunny. She looks so happy. Look at her smile. So this is her speech. I'm not going to read it all, but they do have her speech included in here. And now there this must be the parliament. And yeah, the opening of parliament in New Zealand. I always love the white navy uniforms. Just my favorite military uniform. Um, some green here. I really like this um, outfit here. It is different than this one. Oh yeah, this does so 70s, this picture. So this is the Queen's speech to Australia. Oh, look how blue her eyes are. Yeah, these pieces are super interesting. I've never seen ones like that. They're so cute in their little uniforms. This is in Brisbane. I'm not sure. A oh, girl, girl guides. So I guess it's kind of like their Girl Scouts. Um, yeah. Cute. <laughs> A lot of green on this chart. But green is my current favorite color, so I could just be noticing it. <laughs> in Tasmania. And my grandma's the only person I know who's been to Tasmania and I just as a kid I always asked her about her time in the Oceana. <laughs> yeah green again. That lipstick color looks really good matching. Got the tiara. This is the Papa Hotel in Port Moresby. So this is Papa New Guinea now. Don't know anybody who's been there, to my knowledge, anyway. So that's just one page on that. And then we have Ghana and the Ivory Coast. Um, yeah, that looks like Charles, so. Yeah, that is definitely Charles. Who is our current king? Yeah, this is Charles. Up again, who is here? Only sort of great things about Ghana that the people oh look how beautiful and they have his face all over. But I've I've only heard great things about Ghana. This is the Ivory Coast in this picture though, um, but that the people are just so friendly and I mean they're smiles. But yeah, oh, this is so beautiful. These dresses or it's not dresses, it's a shirt and then a skirt. A little baby there. It's beautiful. Okay, Charles, looking good. <laughs> so this is in Ghana. This 
that's Princess Anne and is that Edward? She says like Queen and Princess Anne, so I don't know who that is. But this is at the Easter service at St. George's Chapel in so soon after the announcement that the princess would be expecting her first baby and her majesty's first grandchild. I don't know if Sarah was the first one. I was at the sun, I don't remember her son's name, but it's my own. Um, the Princess Margaret, the Queen Mother. And then we do have Prince Edward in this one. I think that's Edward right there. Viscount Lindley, I don't know who that is. And then um, Sarah, um, who is Princess Margaret's daughter, the Duke of Beaufort of the Veterinary Inspection. Oh, look at the dogs, look at the dogs. <laughs> we know the Queen and Princess Margaret loved their dogs. These are hunting dogs, it looks like. Hounds, the Duke of Beaufort's hounds. Maybe Beaufort, I don't know how they pronounce them. Okay. We had the Queen Mother and the Queen. This is really the Queen in her atmosphere, doing what she loves. That's great to see. There's um, Jimmy Carter, this other guy. Oh, what? Trudeau? Not Trudeau's dad. Okay, it's this picture. Okay, from the left. Okay, this guy was, I think, the French president, that guy. But I know that's Jimmy Carter. I know Jimmy Carter. <laughs> um, so this from left to right. So Trudeau, that's current Canadian Prime Minister's father. Um, the Japanese, um, I don't know if he's the president or what. Princess Margaret, or Princess, I don't know if that's. Um, James Callaghan, yeah. Prince Charles, then the French man again. Queen, Queen Mother, Jimmy Carter. Um, he's the Italian guy. <laughs> Prince Philip and Helmut Schmidt from West Germany. That's a Buckingham Palace. That's, is that, I think that's Mary of Tech on the wall there. There's kind of a glare. But, um, oh, we know their royal horse, Windsor Horseshoe. Prince Philip loved the carriage, um, carriage driving. And their granddaughter, um, I don't know. Is now, but Prince Edward's daughter has taken that up as well. It's the Queen's speech to the Church of Scotland. I did not know there was a Church of Scotland. Oh, look how green. <laughs> so let's go in Perth. Caught up with the Queen when she arrived in Edinburgh. Must be in Edinburgh with the shrines. I see the Scottish flag back there. Getting more green, more pink. Oh, look at the little dog. It looks like a little Pekingese. My dog is part Pekingese. Um, yeah, a patriotic Pekingese among the flag waving crowds above in Perth awaiting the arrival of the Queen. That is so nice. As we know the Queen loves animals or loved animals. This is football. Um, the Glasgow Select football team. Again, more green. <laughs> it might be a March now, so uh, yeah. Um, that is with the Queen and Prince Philip, and the Queen Mother and Prince Charles. Yeah, right here they are again. A Scottish state coat, which I've never seen. That's another pretty color. Hollywood House, which I just recently read a book about Mary Queen of Scots, who she did live there. Ooh, it's at the opera, really, and even the Queen with all that, the gold detailing, and then. This